last time on Chasing Atlanta. I did not have a problem with Jay Twine until yesterday. The group is boring. I shouldn't apologize to you. Bitch, I didn't ask you to apologize to me. Nobody wants to work with you at this point. And if it's that big of a deal, why you don't check me? And here I call it the bitch the prince for poop, because that motherfucker always walking around with a goddamn panel getting ready to write somebody ass up. This performance is important to me. I won't lie, Nicole asked me. Nicole, Nicole. when you were faking and these relationships, I didn't put your business out there. Y'all really thought I was leaving, huh? That's crazy. The housewarming slash one year celebration extravaganza. You got a whole house full of dolls that you about to walk into. I didn't uninvite any, so I quit. I don't like that she only buys you for the only. Yeah, that hurt my feelings. Because, you know, if you're gonna be my friend, girl, you really need to be my friend. What's your time? It was a picnic style uh, day at uh, Piedmont Park. It was really nice. This month that you want to date, you gonna let her mess up your engine by putting unleaded in this premium. Why your idea a lot for you? And that's on some real shit. You know this, Kendra. My ex-boyfriend already told you you was the reason. I delivered. The artist, Lil' Kendra, and everything. But you knew when you took that position to be manager, you had a job to do. I, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, your career meant more to me than anything. I got tired of the selfishness and the selfish shit. I'm entitled to a break because I worked my ass off. Child, I might be the one knocking bitches out sooner or later. Oh. I just live for Tonka. I love Tonka. He just gives me so much life and so much energy. So I can't wait. Enrico, I already know you finna show out. Y'all give it up for Tay G. I this is interesting. Watching my ex sit there and try to embarrass me in front of everyone. That's 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 where we at. I mean, hey, when you do something to somebody, you can't get mad what they do in return. So if that's how he wants to express his anger, if he wants to put it in the music, let's put it in the music. As eager as I am to see Tonka perform, bitch, I'm tired. I work hard during the day, and clearly my sister do too. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, it is 6 a.m. It's taking too long for them to put Tonka or Rika on stage, so baby. If y'all don't go on soon, I'm about to go home. We need a break. Oh my God. One foot in front of the other. It should make sense. It's not, it, it, it's not rocket science. You're just going forward. Can I please have a bucket of water just go over my head because I'm so hot? Get your shit together, girl. You asked to do this. Now you gotta fucking perform. So get your ass out there. Okay, girl. I'll be right back. This. Ready? Let's go. Give me some room, let a big bitch come through. Walk straight out the door, giving my scores tens across the board. Walk, it's run away, not run away. It's run away, not run away. It's run away, not run away. Now let's get who's in sight. Now walk. Watch me move my hips. I am the mother of the world, right, bitch. Now watch me, watch me move my hips. I am the 
Talk too pressure, got these girls pressed. I heard that you, girl, you can't walk from with like I do. Walk, pump, carry, destroy. I am that girl, I am that boy. Walk, pump, carry, destroy. I am that girl, I am that boy. my first time seeing Tonka perform, and bitch, I will be honest, I was very nervous when she came down those steps. I said, vroom, vroom, get out the way, she's coming through the room, girl. But he seems kind of over it. I don't know what the issue may be. He doesn't seem like he's giving it his all. He kind of has like a, a lot of lust about himself. But overall, I will say the performance was good, and I'm glad to see Tonka in a new element, just doing his thing. I had to stand there and watch my ex dog me on stage, but he got to get up and leave before he could see me. I blame me hits differently now. I see what I did, but I'm man enough to stand in what I did. Anybody ever have a motherfucker try you, like you motherfucking stupid, and play your motherfucking time, and you bad for the shit? See, man can't make you do what he do. You don't hoe. And if you do what he do, you don't hoe. You don't hoe. You don't hoe. Y'all blame yourself. 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 Y'all just Take it's time. I, like I told her, if, if it's a conversation that can be had to clear everything up, have it open heart, open mind, and let it go, because it ain't yeah. worth it. Standing here just hearing everybody's experience about the housewarming, you know, it's very nice that it was a success. I'm happy that she got moved in and got the things she needed, but I just didn't see myself going to an event that I'm re-invited to, especially if we're supposed to be friends. I was supposed to be the first bitch in the building. So since I wasn't, I decided not to go. I thank y'all for coming. Bitch, it has been a long day and a long yeah. night. Oh, bitch, you know, yeah. Hugs and kisses because the bitch wants to go to bed. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. 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 I'm swe
is having a major surgery and stress has been playing a major part in him. And part of that stress I know is because his best friend in this thing got issues and beef. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna take the high road. When they go low, I'm gonna go high. And see if we can, you know, just come to some middle ground. Cause we do have a middle common interest. I feel like my interest is pure, yours is fake. However, we have pure interest. So let's do this for time. I invite you off a drink because I want to talk to you for things that I, I very rarely say. Uh-huh. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm going to tell you that I do owe you an apology. I did not give you a fair shake to actually get to know you. Of course not. No, and, girl, no girl. it ain't got nothing about to do with all the girls. It ain't got nothing to do with that. As a collective, you guys, to me, are all the same. I don't know what their reasons are. It ain't got shit to do with me. As you know, Tuck is mine. Good too. That's that we pass this. Like that's my that's my rock. So what have you been like talking down on the situation between him and my him no, he and I? I haven't I have, I have yeah, I haven't tried to get to right. know you. It was just yeah. like, bitch, who the fuck is this man? Yeah. So I haven't tried I haven't like openly like tried to get to know you. Which is unfortunate. It's kinda hard for me to see where you're coming from, which I do accept the apology, but a little birdie, right? was like, oh yeah, Jay uh, pretty much told Wayne that keep your guard out for Kane. Keep 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 your guard out for him. He's problematic. Let's say names. Who's who's well, the person? I'm gonna say names, you know, because the person who who feels like you told them that, we'll we'll speak on it uh, when the time comes. But what I will say that I have said to Wayne, and it had nothing to do with you, it was about other situations and other okay. people. I said you need to pay attention to what you, what you say and who you say it around and stop doing things on social media. I never said your name in that conversation because that conversation had nothing to do with you. What I would like to do is next time we're all together, you bring that up then and let's see who the murder is from saying something. Gonna be brought up. Because I would like to address that situation here. I don't care about you. The only person I've talked to about you is my best friend. I don't care and I already know who this rumor started from. Y'all know, I know. If you ain't figured it out, it's Jay Twana. All right, you and Castelline, stop being so heavily involved in Tonka's relationship. I feel like these girls should put that effort towards their own relationships and, you know, maybe the billboard wouldn't have came down. And then, you know, maybe Castelline wouldn't have broke into a nigga car and, and set a nigga car on fire, allegedly. I don't really know what happened, but I do know. Get out our business. Find y'all own men. Para. Damn. So do you think I'm not the right guy for Tonka? I don't know you, but, but I But here's the thing, like, we know of each other. You've done work for my former boss. I put you onto my braid or indicator. I feel like we have a rapport, so I don't really feel like it's like, I don't really know who this girl is. I think it's more so fucking with my bestie and I ain't studying. I don't want him to be hurt. As a friend, bitch, I'm about, I need to pay attention to everything. Well, do you take like your own free. advice though? Do you have those guards up as well? What is going on with you and Mr. Billboard? <laughs> I really feel like a lot of these girls didn't really expect a dude like me and Derek to really come together. I will say Jay and Cassidy, I feel like you girls get in these relationships and you big them up and then in two weeks they're gone. Me being committed is different. Well, I talked to Drew today. Did you go to Drew's um, house for me? I did. I did. So, she called me today and we just had a conversation because once I realized that it was an alleged uninvited to her event and I had to go, I had friends, so I felt the way. So she explained, you know, the whole situation and she had a falling out with somebody. I have no idea. Her and Troy fell out. I still don't know all the details. And like I said, I knew nothing. We were out at bowling and I, Drew came in. And next thing I know, Drew stormed off and I was sitting there looking stupid because I had no idea. There was issues. Don't you hate when that happens? When you come somewhere, you don't know that there's a problem. Honestly, it's none of my business. If they want to talk about it, I'm open to talk about it and figure it out. And my things, I'll But you can pass judgment on me. I thought that it was super, super crazy that Seven and Troisha had a falling out because, you know, when I first met Seven, she was defending them down. That's my uncle. They're my brother. I already knew that, you know, all these relationships were fake and fraud. Anyway, when I was talking to Dominique back in February, March, it was pretty much, you know, him and Seven on one side, and then it was Troisha and Willa on another side. Now, I never spilled that tea. Clock it and catch it, all right? Because one thing about it, I, 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 I may be ignorant, but I ain't a liar. But we good, Jay. I have no, I, I've only seen you in, in, in this whole thing three times. You know, I heard you guys have been doing a lot of things, and you know, it's getting very much Let's at exile the king, the queen, the prince, the princess, the viscount, the viscountess, the duke, and the duchess. And let's be mean girls. I can come to, your, to one of your fashion shows or fittings and, and, and fit in. I got a show in a couple weeks. It's actually my retirement show. I would love for you to come to that. 
And actually, I'm going to. You are about to get the first invite. Are you ready to play? I am planning a trip for my birthday. Okay. We are going to Panama City. In Florida? Yes. Okay. When? What's the date? Because my birthday weekend, the sales speed, we're going to go from the 15th to the 17th. So I'm excited. The Duke and the Duchess. Okay. Yeah. Make sure y'all have yeah. a lovely room together. Please. Oh, yes. You know, I invite the Duke, the Duchess, the Duchess. Girls watch one season of Bridgerton and think they got all these damn titles. Baby, you are the court gesture. I am only inviting you because you are a part of the contract for this season. Because they best believe me and you are not of the same caliber to be anywhere. So, yes, child, we just have to do a trip. I need to do a trip because listen, I ain't gonna lie, we kind of had a little bit of fun at the pool, but between the different A, B, C, D, one, two, three locations, I said, baby, we gotta do this right. So listen, we about to have a good old time. We gonna go down and pan off for the third anniversary of my 30th birthday. I'll be 30 forever. Listen, don't knock it till you try it, baby. But I was, I'm having my uh, lunch party for my adult toy line, King Kane LLC. I would love for you to come. You definitely need to dress sexy. I'm similar to the one. So I can't be sexy. You, you made my best friend. I'm coming in. I'm coming in sweats. My birthday is like a week before Jay's. So yeah, we're going to celebrate Jay's birthday, but I'm really going to be celebrating mine. Oh, cheers. Thanks for inviting me. Cheers to the girls we can. The 15th to the 17th. Okay. Of next month. Of next month. All right. Let's get it. Today's a very busy day in my world. I got my girl Gigi McGuire coming down. You may know her from lip service, but your daddy might know her from down in Magic City. She's headed out on a flight, but she needs to get the puppies together. So we're gonna get the puppies in, get them fluffed up, and get them out the door because we got things to do. I appreciate you for coming to help me, girl. Because you know I've been going crazy. The summertime has had me extremely busy because I feel like, I don't know, I've been feeling, feeling overwhelmed lately. So my dog grooming business has been booming. The only thing is the space that I'm in right now is extremely too small. It's time for a salon. My clients deserve it and I know I do too. I have my celebrity clients that I absolutely love, but it's also some clients I have to let go. People don't know, like these people live far out. Sometimes they don't wanna pay you what you deserve because I know my worth and I know what I am worth. So yeah. Again, thank you, honey, because I don't know how I would have did all these dogs today. And baby, I'm going to cash you out, and I'm out. <laughs> these other girls might work for free. Girl, speaking of the other girls, honey, I'm sick of them. How's it been going? When it comes to this group, girl, they're real spicy, so, you know, I've been trying to hold my own. Why don't so. have some craziness happen at this infamous pool party? I don't know. He's been weird. Kane, the girl who ran up on the girls, she's been very weird. Been very weird. Who was that? Girl, group sessions on the dating app? Bitch, let me call Tonka because, girl, do you really know this boy out here advertising group sessions? Matter of fact, hang up the phone, cause girl, I'ma let him find out his own way. This ain't my battle. Like I said, I'ma tuck it away. And at any time, just know I got the ammo to shoot the bullet. Well, how long ago was that? I think I just saw that like a few days ago. Girl. I gotta see them Thursday, child. Kane invited us to some sex toy party. So it's weird that you even showed me that because it's gonna be a routine. Girl, it's a freaky bitch. And if it's not be that type of group session, she's talking about bitch. And Tonka, I feel like at this point in his life, he don't need nobody to play with his feelings. This is just what I get from him when I'm around him. Everybody wanna be loved, and if you're not gonna love that boy the right way, leave him alone. It's a lot of girls I gotta be around that I really don't want to. It's like, I know I gotta see Kane, I know I gotta see Wayne, but I'ma just walk in the room and see what they're giving because at the end of the day, I'ma match energy. If you wanna have a good time, we're gonna have a Ponderosa. But if you wanna take it left, girl, as we all know and have seen, it can definitely go left. You gonna see the seven there? I'm gonna see seven, girl. You know me and that hoe got into it. She had pissed me off because you know that hoe uninvited me to a party. I'm gonna tell you the real tea. She was mad because Troy talked to Ike about the situation and you know she loved her some Ike, child. Uh, I don't know what to say because the stuff that she wants me to defend, I talk to her about it. Like, if this boy is telling you that He's not interested like this. She was seriously into him? She was seriously into him. As her brother, I was like, girl, just leave it alone. And she just kept pushing it. And I was like, this is how it ends up. And you can't be mad. So it is what it is. She 
Okay. Hey, but that's all the thing. I was in Houston to let my hair down and have a good time. I know I have issues with Seven, and I know Troy had his little situation with Seven. So why I'm being nailed to the cross, I really don't know. But you know what? I put these hands to work. My babies came in looking a little rough, but we did what we had to do. And now they headed off to New York to film lip service with their mama. And my job here is done. The coins are collected. As y'all can see, I'm out here really working with real celebrities. and I get the final details and I invited my sister Jay and my sister Brianna. My mom will be on FaceTime as well as, you know, I might call Kink and you know, let him hear a little bit of stuff. So, oh, the big day is here. Hey, Dr. Hey. This is my best friend Jay. Jay. This is my sister. Okay. Brianna. And my mom is on the FaceTime. That's, okay, mom. That... Last chance to try to make you nervous. Uh, <laughs> right. I say that with a smile. Um, but it's my job to make sure you understand some of the terminology. What are things that we that could come up that we could that could happen? Baby, the mama is here. Is here. We here. We we, we here. We are. Listen, this has been a long journey. I have been right there with my girl every step of the way. Tanisha and me, we have been there from beginning to end, beginning to end. He been there with me. She been there with me through the hospital visits and everything else. Baby, we can't even keep it straight. Cause it's like, <laughs> bitch, we about to get slim thick. <laughs> You're signed up for the, um, the Sadie. It's actually asleep. So it's it's the restrictive part of the surgery. It's gonna make it harder for you to eat like a large portion. That part's called restriction. And interestingly, some cells in there, when they don't get stimulated by nutrients, they change the way they produce certain hormones. So this can affect your metabolism. And all the risks are, are low percentage chance of something bad happening, a higher percent chance that something good happens and you achieve your the successful weight loss that you want and the health benefits. And if that weren't the case, people wouldn't be getting all these weight loss surgeries. So as we are talking, you know, we're going over things. It's very important for me to have this surgery. Do see me having multiple issues, health issues, and I just really want to be able to be healthy and feel confident. I lost my confidence because I was an emotional eater. I needed to get this under control, and it's very important that I get this controlled because I do not want to die. I'm just one people I like to know everything to just know because I was confused about her thing. Okay, so how do we know the difference between the nausea, this, the post discharge warning signs, and dumping? Like, is there a difference? It'll, I think it's relationship to like food. Well, there could be some type of nurse on call or anything like that. If anything goes different. While you're in the hospital, you'll be on, you know, monitored floor. You'll have a nurse assigned to you and all that. And if you're meeting discharge criteria, you'll go home the next day. From there, you detect an issue. You have any questions or concerns? Something doesn't feel right. You call the office during business hours, you get MA and they'll forward questions to me. If it's hour, after hours, all of us surgeons have, um, we're, we're plugged in with an answering service. As excited as I am, I ain't gonna lie, I'm just nervous as shit too. But not just saying high success rate, but I ain't gonna lie, I've been a, I'm, a, I'm a Google girl. I get on Google and I've seen a lot. And when it comes to me and his relationship, if this don't work, Tanga has been my rock. So right now, I'm, I can't lie, I'm nervous for my friend because it's like, I just need you to come out of this. And I know it's something that you said you wanted when we sat down and made our goals. The first year we had goals, we said we was gonna help each other achieve and I'm glad we're here, but it's a nervous moment because I'm just like, I need my friend to get through this. But girl, be there all the way, girl. Team Tanga, let's go do it. Look. <laughs> It's gonna be good, okay? Thank you. It was nice meeting Thank everybody. You. Nice, nice well, I'll see you at, at surgery, Mom. I'm already a nervous wreck because I'm having a major surgery and I, I hear the stories of the after effects and I came too far from where I started from, Lord Jesus, I, there's no turning back. I'm just ready for the day to come and get up with and start healing. I'll see you on surgery day, then I'll see you on the 18th afterwards. Yes, all right, y'all. Thanks Thank for, you. Thanks for stopping by with him. All right, I'll see you. Why are you dressed up, girl? Where are you going? Because of the cool sky.
gonna come down, gang. Girl! <laughs> So I'm at home, I'm chilling, y'all, I'm comfortable, <laughs> cozy in my uh, skin. I'm by my sister Nicole Ober. Nicole, she's the actress like me, she's the influencer, and she's also in these reality streets. She's gonna come over, we're gonna talk about the strike, we're gonna catch up, and um, yeah, have some sister bonding. So girl, yeah, the strike, I know. The only thing for me, well for us, I feel like we have been doing things mm -hmm. in the industry and I just I just kind of wanted it to continue. Just like with right. cinnamon, it's just like, okay, the so people are seeing me mm -hmm. and I was just like, I want to continue this. And now it's just like, great. Another wall has been just mm -hmm. blocked me. We do you know. TV shows and movies. Exactly. And that's not indie, like that's productions and all of that kind of stuff. So I completely get, I completely support it. And that's another thing, it's just like this whole AI thing. And then sometimes I'm like, am I even gonna have an acting career? Mm -hmm. like, to be silent during a strike when you are present day on TV filming, you don't get to celebrate your wins, you don't get to celebrate your achievements. And while the world is watching and can see you out here doing your big one, they can celebrate you, but you can't celebrate yourself. And so it's frustrating. Um, it's sad because we work so hard for these moments, but at the same time, we understand why we're doing it. I feel like it's like another whole reset. Mm -hmm. like right, it's like COVID. Mm -hmm. Now we're here, so it's like, girl. This is what I wanna do still. I just right. hope we can live off of it. Mm -hmm. AI is scary, no shade. It's very scary to me because creating some stuff on screen or in technology to be me, when I have lived experience, AI does not have lived experience. So they could never do what I could do or deliver it how I can deliver it or come from where I'm coming from when I'm out here doing what I do as an actress. So it's scary and I hope they are able to work it out so we are protected from it. Um, but it's, it's scary, I'm not gonna lie. One, one of the biggest things I value about acting is the storytelling aspect. Not just feeling like, oh, I gotta go to set yeah. and be working with people. I'm gonna always use my abilities or platform to continue to be a storyteller, but in other avenues. I just did a campaign, funded or sponsored by Gilead to do this um, I Am HIV Possible, which is talking about black women, both trans and cis, um, and talking about HIV prevention. Because a lot of times, you know, cis, Black cis women specifically don't talk about HIV. And it'll be a national thing where I'll be traveling to conferences. Girl, I get to go to Essence Fest next year, girl. Um, am I coming? Well, you know, girl, you know, you're a traveling girl. Well, I'm coming anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Beef Healthcare has an initiative called Risk to Reason. And basically it's reframing risk and it's really educating black women, both cis and trans, about HIV prevention. Um, I'm also a part of a campaign called I am HIV possible because in this world, all of us are impacted by HIV. It's not one community, it's all of us. So whether you're HIV possible, whether you're HIV positive, or whether you're HIV negative, we all need to be educated about HIV prevention. Nah, nah, don't try it. You can't feed me lies, won't buy it. So today I also invited my good sister Stephen over so we can do a little recap of her event, her new housewarming, and then of course her one year anniversary of being Stephen. Thanks for the lovely invitation, y'all. Well, no, I felt bad because I couldn't come. Baby, I love Southwest, mm -hmm. but she delayed my flight. She, she tried like three you. times. Oh, mm. how did the housewoman part go? Because girl, I heard the girl, I, I heard in the street, Grand, <laughs> that you had invited the children. Something happened that I did not particularly care for. And it hurt my feelings. Okay. And I was like, I don't want to be in this space. I invited Dominique. Dominique did not come. I do miss my brother. Like, we talk like five times a day. Um, so I am a little codependent. Um, I know where I fought, went to fault with him. I just hope that we both can take accountability okay. for both of our actions. Well, I'm, I'm proud of you. I always feel like people think transitioning like stops at some point. It never stops. Like transitioning is something we do forever. It's an ongoing process. I because you're always evolving. You're always evolving. Transitioning is the ongoing thing and it never stops. When it comes to hormones, Hormones have a different impact on each individual person. And when I was on hormones, hormones never impacted me emotionally or changed my behaviors. But what I would want Seven to know is like, don't allow the hormones to overwhelm you. Don't allow the hormones to put you in positions that could potentially, you know, break apart or break up some relationships because you are super 
um, emotional or your emotions are heightened. Let me say that. Your womanhood, your personhood is not within that pill or that injection. You get to determine who you get to be every day when you wake up. Speaking of like, you know, all of the trans things, girl. Have y'all seen, you know, what's been in the news with this? Just hilarious. Cause I do have an opinion. Media, social media, all of that. We have to stop taking clips and just going in about a clip when you didn't see the full story, right? While a lot of people took um, issue with what the, the, the trans woman said in the initial video. You don't own periods. You don't own womanhood. You experience both and both are different for every person, but as a cis woman, it doesn't belong to you. What is the difference between um, you and someone who has been um, diagnosed to be mentally insane? What's the, the only difference is you don't have a straight jacket on. Everybody looks at us like we were saying, we own this and we want to do this. Of course, when a cis, black cis woman see that, it's polarizing to them and they are gonna go in and let have. How you gonna talk about a whole community like that? Like we all feel that, all because this person chose her platform to advocate for other people, yet y'all tried to make it about her and us when it was never about us. She was advocating for other people who are assigned female at birth or intersex. Before this video, I really, I stopped supporting the following just way. Oh, me too. When you're in the entertainment industry, you're around all of us, whether it be trans women, gay men, just the community period, you're around all of us. So for you to get on your platform and to say some stuff like that is completely messed up. People allow people like her to say ignorant stuff because they're comedians. What I need black women to know, black cisgender women to know, we have more similar lived experience than we don't. And trust and believe when they come at us first, they coming for you. Bitch, I have a message from Javidic. What's the tea, what's the tea? What's up y'all? I've been thinking my dirty 30 plus three is coming up real soon. But I was thinking why not get out of town for a while. I am inviting you, 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 all my good girlfriends and girlfriends to Panama City. So all expenses are paid by you, bitch. I am not that rich. I don't know what the fuck y'all thought, <laughs> but we will be staying in a marvelous, I don't know how I roll. Let's not even, let's not even play the tease. So I need y'all to make sure that y'all got all y'all stuff together gonna be real cute and make sure you have a nasty all white outfit because we will be having an all white dinner on my actual birthday. More details to come soon, just know you better be there. Fire! Oh, come on, butt! It's the interest for me. Come on, here. Wait, Panama City. I've never been to Panama. It's cute. Panama City's cute. I like me some Jay. It's his birthday and we're doing a trip, so I'm excited. Unfortunately, I will not be there. <laughs> I'm not gonna work. <laughs> If going to work, I'm gonna go do. I gotta head out, cause I'm about to go see one. Oh, okay. But I'll see you on the 17th by King Kane's, um, Will Swore Oh, the, um, toy. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, well, I'll be there. Okay, well, let me go see the show. All right, so thank you so much. Nice, you. bitch. Oh. Bunches of oh, what's going on? How are you? I'm doing all right. So today I invited Willa out to the battery just to see, you know, what's been going on, with my girl. I haven't seen her in a while, and I kind of just want to put some things on the table. I also have been having some issues with our girl Seven, and I know she's had some issues with her before. So I want to see where she's at and how does she deal with those situations. I just want to talk to you because I know I feel like we haven't really like had a one-on-one -on -one, like I kind of had a conversation with Seven when we was at the bowling alley a couple weeks ago and I didn't do it in front of everybody I pulled her to the side I, it was just on my heart because I just felt like I continue to let things make me feel away and then I have to like bury those feelings you put my TT I'm supposed to be your knees whatever the case may have you, I didn't realize how much that really had affected me. She, she kind of got up and walked away. I don't want to make it seem like I'm harboring this or I'm feeling this way for no reason or I'm or I'm trying to make it bigger than what it is. I will say that I have had, briefly had like little talks with her about, you know, her feeling the way about the situation or whatever. I had to like just be real with her, like honestly, and just let her know like, I don't mean no harm, but we wouldn't be in this situation if it were not for your action or whatever. It's like even when she got on the phone with me, she was real rah-rah. When you turned around and told Dominique, fuck you and 
hung all up in his face and you said you was quitting right. the shit. So like, what about somebody wanting to host this shit made you get so up in arms like that to the point where you talking about you finna quit. She feels like he ain't being supported like she's supposed to be supported. Bitch, you ain't gonna get nothing else from me. Right. Besides the knowledge that I'm giving you and us talking on the final, you not gonna get nothing else from me because I said people got their own lives stuff going on. They don't mean that they don't care. That just means that you can't have an expectation. If I did not care for this lady, I probably would have blacked her eye a whole week ago. But at this point, I feel like it may be something deeper that my sister is not telling us, or it may be a cry for help, or it may be something that she has going on that she just don't feel comfortable saying to us yet. So I don't know, I'm just gonna steer clear because I'm scared, I don't wanna catch a stray, honey. I've been trying to find my place, find where I'm supposed to be, and it's just like, I hate that she feel like that I haven't been able to support her, but I feel like I have support her. Like, I feel like last year, you know, me and you were at MSR every weekend. We did all this kind of stuff. I can't give you that every year because sometimes I think that she's spoiled. I really have to show up for myself because if I don't, who's going to show up for me? Like, not saying nobody else is going to show up for me, but who's going to show up for me if I don't show up for myself? I tell you, it's so crazy that you say that because it's exactly what, exactly what I told her. I said, I don't mean no harm. But a good percentage of the arguments that I got into last year wasn't my arguments and bitch started ambushing on me especially like towards the end I said seven you didn't have nothing to say in my defense this is her time to transition she doesn't need anyone else she needs her sisters and those are people that have been there supporting her but if there's something that's going on and you feel like you need someone to talk to you can always hit my line and I just don't know what she doesn't get about that you need to figure out why your emotions got you moving like you moving because I'm like honestly this show niece, 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 niece. I said, that's all you've been saying since we've been on this phone. I said, but that particular day, you acted like you didn't know who that person was. If you know that at the end of the conversation, you and him gonna be straight because of y'all friendship and relationship, put that on ice. I appreciate it. I missed you, girl. I'm glad to see your face, man. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm proud of you. I'm and girl. I'm look, doing just fine. So, girl, I heard through the grapevine that we all were invited to King Kane's um, sex toy launch party. I had seen some about it. I was surprised that I was invited, no shame. But I'm glad to be able to go to see something that he's doing because at the end of the day, you know, I support all the girls, regardless of the girls want to say that or not. Like, I support everyone. I try to support in the best way that I can. But he got to keep all the other shit at a minimum. Now it's brought up that King Kane is having a sex toy party, which is very on brand for her because you know the girl loves sex. When I get there, I'm just praying that it's no drama, that it's no issues because I'm not gonna say be his friend. I want to be cordial with him. I want us to be able to coexist and be in the same room. But baby, if it's gonna give this each and every time, I don't want no part. So hopefully he know how to have some cool at his own event. But I'm excited to go out here. We supposed to be wearing lingerie. I mean, I got some lingerie. It's giving it's gonna be some liquor flowing if it's a King Kane, if it's something to do with King Kane. I'm excited to see what it is, you know. I like a little toy here and there, especially when my man is in the air, flying country to country, city to city. I'm gonna see what he got. I'm gonna see what he got going on. Period. Jack dabs and cue the laugh track. These dudes are too mad. My screws are too loose. I lose my do rag. I'm Lucy Loose Nash. My pose and do dance like boots and blue hats and a black pullover. My ass was too fat. Now that's how you clear a bitch. So today I am down to the candy coat factory, honey. Okay, and laying some beats. Yes, indeed. Working these hoes like no fatigue. Sitting pretty with the crampets and teeth. Legend with the keys like Chris CT. Yeah, you best believe you're the best to be. Any glory ho, but I'm next to blow. Any mini mo, you're next to go. I'm about to rail on them like hill until I steal the shot. So I'm in the studio with my good girl, my diva friend, Alonda, who I've collaborated with so many times in the past. He is someone that I respect lyrically, and he challenged me to freestyle on this beat to kind of get me out of my creative rut. And so I'm in the studio, okay, heading this bitch up, letting her know that I'm not scared, giving her my all, and let her know that Oliver is still the head nerd in motherfucking charge, bitch, okay? Here I am. Lonely and waiting, wondering where you've gone. And if you're coming home, well, you don't 
care Cause if you did you wouldn't leave me Sitting all alone And I'm something that you want So over the years y'all been watching me I've been quietly yet aggressively working on my next project All these songs y'all see me perform and play here I've really just been testing them out to see how the public likes them And people are always asking me to sing more and so I am covering one of my favorite songs, Close to Me by Misha Lay, which is one of my aunt's favorite songs. And singing it, hearing it reminds me of her. Um, and I really love this song. And so we are laying down the demo vocal today to get this track off to a good start. So come close to me. So close, close to me. Holding me tight almost every night. So come close to me. To my music is so important to me right now because I feel like I've done so many other things in so many areas. And now that it's officially been 10 years that I've been here in Atlanta, and I feel like in order for me to continue to be successful as Oliver Twigs, I gotta get back to what made him him. She, her, they, we, ah. What's going on? What's up, what's up? Mm -hmm. What you over here scribbling? Child, just a little something something. Yes, yes. What's been going on? I love the things that you uh, laid down earlier. Thank you. I feel very elevated. I know you've been busy traveling and everything. So have you had time to catch up with your group? I've been, I've been around a little bit. You mm -hmm. know, I think I've come around more than I've been in the past. Just because there's been a lot going on. But and I'm pretty sure in the blogs you're seeing the fighting and the craziness. I'm pretty sure you know your ex. <laughs> Now this, I told what, you, now this is what we're doing. I told you not to go around there. We're doing bigger and better things, and that's what I'm going to focus on. What? So what's what's coming up? Trash. What's coming up? Child, so you know, we got this um, peach party that we should Of be course. Playing. I've been drafting out what I hope can be the schedule for the day, and then I have just a few questions for you about, like, specifics that you might want. Okay. Okay, okay so start the day with the registration checkout and a brunch mixer for those who will be attending the master class and setting up as vendors for the pop-up shop. Do you want to do the master class alone or would you like there to be someone else who does? I can do it alone. Do it alone, okay. I really want to celebrate in a huge way being in the city for a decade. I really feel like I've done an amazing job in the 10 years I've been here. I had a 10 year plan that I wrote my first day of college and I am proud to say I've achieved every single thing I set out to. And now, I also wanna launch my master classes in teaching other content creators how to do what I do, how to make money for themselves at home, off their personality, off their skills, off their art, their talent. Um, and I'm just excited. I feel like I'm pregnant. It's the baby. We're good on that. So I just got a text from Jay. Let me see what this is. What's the tea? What's the tea? What's up, y'all? I've been thinking. My dirty 30. Plus 30. It's coming up real soon. I was thinking, why not get out of town for a while? I am inviting you, 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 all my good girlfriends and squirrel friends to Panama City. Okay. That was cute. That is cute. I'll be there, I guess. So I've been hearing about this group trip for some time, and I know everyone's wondering if I'm going to go because he's so over it and whatnot. Listen, this group and what we do here is very important to me, and so I will always try my best to always be present for everything. I ain't living in the house with them bitches, okay? I'm gonna get my own little cottage down the street so I can sleep in peace, rest in peace, because a whole lot of spirits going on, and I don't need a bitch thinking she can get me in my sleep. It shall be fun. Pray my strength. <laughs> the Lord. He keeps me. Well, if everyone is paying their own way. Right, because you know that that already X some people. <laughs> now the question is, do the girls got enough resources to get their ass down to the beach, okay? Because everybody trying to like they big bosses until it's time to cough up the change. Everybody is a king and queen and a Dutch and do is duchess and do and, 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 and prince and princesses until it's time to pay the bill. And everybody's like, oh, well, you know, everybody don't speak English no more. They speak Spanish. Is that messy? I don't give a fuck, shit. You just always gotta take it to the next level. Or the, the one underneath. Oh, the one underneath. Yeah. You all keep asking if I got any work done. 
Jen? No, not yet. She just really fishy. The moles are sitting on her real right. And I want these moles to continue sitting on me real right. So what am I doing? Going to get fried dye and laid to the side. This beard, this dark shadow had to motherfucking go, okay? Because I was pulling your at the Shell gas station, shaving every day. So imagine how to pull your and his brother when the shadow really going, bitch. Oh my hand. Girl, girl. Well, I feel like I'm going under the knife. Girl. She's giving me a hysterectomy. That lady is slow. Barbecue her real good. Oh, I felt that one. She ate it up. It just scares the shit. Stephanie's such a damn pussy. I'm talking about damn girl, you in here getting grilled. I know, yes. You in here getting barbecue, fricassee, and flambe, bitch. But damn, you gotta know the beauty is pain. I don't even think I was that damn jittery and jumping when I was in there getting goddamn deep fried and laid to the side. Read it. Make sure you read it. I think you should get her tan again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a terrorist mole rat and I'm gonna love it. Yeah, naked mole rat. Bitch, this shit hurts. But this shit's got to go. It has got to go. Once she stopped, you really don't have, I really don't feel anything. My face swells up for probably about an hour and a half. You can smell the hair follicles burning. And then you got air blowing in your face. I will never do that to my dog ever again in life. <laughs> What's the tea? What's the tea? What's up, y'all? I've been thinking my dirty 30 plus three is coming up real soon. I am inviting you, 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 all my good girlfriends and girlfriends to Panama City. Okay, Lisa, right? Oh, 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 you was already there. Oh, oh, that scenery was tea. Oh, oh, shit, now, now we got another trip, honey. Do I hear another chance for Willow's Cabaret Part 2, honey? Oh, listen, and we got some little cuties on this season, this uh, time, so, honey, I don't know what we gonna be the deal. Hold on, now, let me stop. That's a lie. Let me let me take all that back, because that's a damn lie. I'm still thinking about Cam and Ike and him. It's two houses. Two homes. Oh, oh. We have it'll be like bad, bad bitches west. to the left. Bad is east. I'm Get all bitches to the right. Okay. We want to know how to act, we can meet in the middle. <laughs> and dance all night. <laughs> But I'm gonna do what I can and figure some stuff out. Uh, if you don't go, just know that we are no longer friends. I you understand. I'm you, putting that because, because, bargain because on. see, here's the situation. I know who who else would you room with? You all we gotta be. This is how me and Tony can room. Get to know each other. I know that I'm not able to go because of me being booked, busy, and blessed like candy. However, I do want to try to make something because that's my friend's birthday. We'll see what happens. I'll talk to Big Daddy John John at the Wussy Camp and see what we can do. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for coming with me to get my um, get me fried and die. Yeah, I think she she thought I was gonna say. It's crazy. How my friends just don't want to know. Yeah. Everything always so crazy to you, bitch. Everything is always so crazy to you. See y'all later. I'm going to eat. Right. Holiday and honey preparing for the arrival of my friends as we've got work to do, okay? I've been approached by the creative team over there at Amp Amazon to pitch my own live podcast show. The owners over there have been impressed by the work I've been able to do on the Candy Cody Live podcast with, of course, Candy Burris. And they've asked me to put something together to join their team. And I'm like, okay, I've already found success with Top Model and Jocelyn's Cabaret and the other reality TV shows. So why not bring that to a higher level, bring my friends on along for the ride and make it sick, me. Did you just walk up in my house? I knocked and then I came And then in. knocked. <laughs> Welcome home, hey. Made a damn welcome home. How you doing? Good. What you got home? Nothing. You like, oh, you like this? Yeah. Just a little, a little smooth, smooth, smooth. Yes. So I'm pulling up on Oliver today. I haven't seen him in quite some time. So I'm just going over to catch up with him, see what the tea is amongst the circle. I'm just going to Kiki and catch a vibe and see what, see what it's giving. What's going on? Just getting ready for my event Thursday. You went so long. You got you a new girlfriend. You don't fuck with me no more. I love you. You don't no. fuck with me no more. I feel the same way because I look on your page. Somebody grabbing on your hips. <laughs> and teaching you how to do the Tamiya line dance and all that carrying on. And you coming to my event? Of course I'm coming. What you wearing? What you want me to wear? 
something. I want everybody to come sexy. I'm not gonna come half as horse as I was at yours. Okay. You know, I'm reserved now. Uh huh. Uh huh. As, um, as I need to be. Yeah. Right. So and everybody is invited. Well, that's good. Yeah, including Dumb and Dumber. So I'm excited that. Who's Dumb and Dumber? You already know. I think it's gonna be. Um, a good sexy time. It's gonna you be. Think so? Yeah, it's gonna be dicks from wall to wall. Well, you know, no matter how, at least from my history, because you right. just get around them. I've been around these hosts about five years now. Yep, you have. No matter what you try to do, somebody gonna find something to get it crumb. Okay. We had a whole HIV AIDS thing that people got the brawl. We had a sit down dinner the year before before that during the pandemic. Thank the Lord, He done kept us here. The people got the brawl. We done gone to the cab and cried. Not on people's shoulders, falling out, catching the Holy Ghost, come back, people still want to crap. So, so, so I just hope you have the contingency plan. Yeah. For the crap. Yeah. That will unleash. I'm staying out of it, but there is a, something that has to be addressed. Me, me and Toka, we are dating. Um, I just kind of feel like his his friend. I got word that Miss Amore was pretty much telling um, Wayne. Hey, you um you need to watch out for uh, Kane and J Twan because they're problematic. You know, and I just feel like every time I'm around him, the energy is off. So he invited me out. Did y'all mess around? Back in the day, 2020. The last thing I really want to do is like beef with my friends or like have like weird energy or weird like you know like animosity towards them. So I just need some advice because this is what I heard. And I don't really know how to move forward from it, even though we have sat down and we talked about it and we tried to move forward. You know, what's what's going on with the billboard I think came down? You know, so I wanted to know stuff about that. Like, why, like, put that energy into your own endeavors, right? Just, and maybe the billboard would still been up. Let's well, just hold it, because we, we can't talk about what was going on in the man house. We was not there. You and Tonka now dating is a huge dynamic shifts within the social show, cir circle. Once I heard y'all was dating, I was like, well, shit, I don't know if I can call Kane, if I can hang out with you Kane. You can always call me. Well, I love I just, you. Our relationship but, exceeds yes. far beyond this platform. Uh, most definitely, most definitely. But it's just, you know, with even though you and I never dated or like took it to that level, we have kissed each other. We done, we, we done flirted. Done, yeah. We done, done you know, yeah. so it's just like, and I'm friends with Tonka. I love Tonka. Yeah. And I'm very happy that y'all are together and that y'all are doing y'all thing and that y'all seem to be happy, but y'all getting together does cause a, a change because you got history with people in the group, he friends with those people, so it's just like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's kind of what we bump heads too because I'm kind of like, I feel like you go out your way to be friendly with bitches who don't really see it for me, and I don't like that. How about you sit down with all the friends and talk to them? You just sat down with the friends before, laid up with them. I ain't studying the friends no more. It's old T, we, we getting ready to go into 2024. So what you, you know, know what I'm saying? Guys? But the friends ain't going nowhere. Like for me, it ain't me. But before I chose dick and love and this shit, I'd just rather not, to not deal with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll just choose another dick and somebody else to love before I have to deal with this dick, done dick down three of my friends and everybody else, and now they telling me about him. It's just, that would be too much. God bless Tonka for being able to deal with all this, because I don't know how the bitch do it. I would not be able to, I would say fuck it all, all right? We're not gonna act like King Kane is innocent. All right, we not going out like that. But I know he's a good person, he's a good time. If he loves you, he loves you. On the other hand, I don't blame Rico and Jay for wanting to protect their friend because they feel like their friend is going blindly into something and they don't want to see them get hurt. It doesn't make it any better that both of them have had romantic moments with the person their friend is dating. But what you been up to besides working? Oh, working! Darius and my other friend Sasha are coming over here. They're coming over here today because I have an opportunity to pitch a podcast show to a major streaming platform. So when when are you are are they gonna be on the panel? They're gonna be on the panel. Okay, I think that's dope. That's diverse. Already. I love my friend. Yeah, you and, do. And and I wanna You're such a good friend. I think that the podcast idea that Oliver has, I think it's going to be great. I love his friend Sasha, and I think Darius is super, super beautiful, very, very opinionated. And I was happy when Oliver asked me to sit around and stay around to, like, you know, give some advice to the world. Okay, so <laughs> I know today we were supposed to film a pilot for our podcast, but mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what, let's... Let's take a little a pause and like get it together. So like me personally, I thought it would be fitting for us to make the podcast talking about reality TV. One, I really don't care to talk about current events because I currently don't be caring what hoes be doing. Personally, I feel like y'all should also talk about current events and hot topics too. 
to just kind of yeah, yeah hot topics definitely you know make some men. and that's something that could remain evergreen because it doesn't matter that the event just happened or is happening or will happen it will just be something that we had a conversation about i was thinking in order to like market it we would film it like how i do for candy coated mm -hmm. put out a video version of the podcast after we go live y'all like it yeah I'm down. So as y'all know, Darius is my bestie, and Sasha is a great, 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 amazing longtime friend of mine. I'm always an advocate of bringing along the people who mean the most to you. And so with this opportunity by AMP to have my own podcast on the platform, right next to Candy Birds, right next to Nick Cannon, not only do I want to make this amazing, a huge success. I would love if this could bless somebody else. And so I feel great to have people who I trust, love, and respect, my two best friends, my two queer squirrel and girlfriends alongside me on this ride. And it's just my hope and prayer that In The Mix is a hit. I think it's gonna pop out. Thank you. Yeah. You know, everything you can touch me turn to gold. So. On me. Yes, come on Midas, touch, touch me. <laughs>
That was who that was? Mm -hmm. I like Berlin. She's straight. Yeah. Alone. The after show was months ago. They did kind of throw me off when she said, wear your bees, because I was like, well, I mean, do not to say like you be looking a mess enough, but I'm like, more than likely everybody does like come in their face, like come in their little one too. I'm just gonna move on, you know? It does. It is weird though. It does feel calculated. But everybody just say I'm so strategic and I'll be planning out shit. Girl, to hear you say you calling me because we gotta see each other tomorrow, that sound calculated and strategic to me. I'm just glad me and you ain't got no issues. Bitch, How you feel about that? That's amazing. I feel like I always have, I always liked you. Like I always like, I liked your personality. I liked your Spirit, bitch, I like your vibe. I don't know whatever happened in the motherfucking cabins. I don't know what the hell was going on mm -hmm. in them goddamn cabins, but it seemed to kind of shifted us. So like last year, I was like super, super heavy and just bogged down because I had experienced one of the biggest traumas in my life, which was losing my grandmother, of course. But over the time, I have really learned what it is to grieve and really learned what it is to take self-care and I'm glad to just be on the other side of bullshit and on the other side of grief and just on the other side of depression a little bit so You know, that's all I can say. I enjoy Willa. I love Willa. I enjoy talking to her. I enjoy our conversations. I enjoy her coming up to my house, me going to her house, her doing my hair, and just how we able to key and chop it up. I'm just happy that we are in a place finally where we are just friends and we've maintained this friendship and I'm grateful for it and I'm happy. I've done my part, she's doing her part. Everything is great. Imagine. I feel like everything is starting to fall into place where it needs to fall into place. All of the things need, that needed, to, all the I's that needed to be dotted, all the T's that needed to be crossed are starting to cross. I want to owe a little bit of that to some of my therapy session with Juan because I feel like he re helped me to understand certain things about myself and to dig deeper and figure out what it is that I need for myself to better myself. So I've been doing the homework, doing the leg work, and one thing I can say is I have been reaping the benefits of this hard work. And it is so sweet. It's so sweet, y'all. Tell the guy. Give me a hug. I love you. Yes, honey. And this damn thing. Okay. Do you know how I get when you get to put them hands on me? How you get it? Oh, do we gotta have another rerun of the cast? Let me get myself together. Cause you know you them hands just embrace so well. See? They have to crack my back. <laughs> Producer, director, surgeon, extraordinaire. Well, the time is now. Um getting wheeled away and I pray that it goes well and I see my family on the other side and my mom had a conversation with King and he's staying with me at the hospital. So I'm looking forward to waking my eyes up and seeing him there, seeing my family and y'all pray for me, please. <laughs> yeah, we keep it cold here. We try to refrigerate. <laughs> We're about to warm you up. I hear my family, and I hear this voice, I hear King. I'm like, all right, Lord, there is a God, there is a God. I, have, I made it, 
has made it. I see your face, Miss Seely. I has made it. Oh my God, I have made it through surgery. I'm excited, but girl, this pressure. Oh, I want to wish it on your mama, on your sister, your cousin, your, even your damn dog. And bitch, I got to pee like a motherfucker. Oh, I'm happy to see y'all, but child, I'm, I'm uncomfortable as fuck. Oh, y'all, please help me out. Taka Al knew me. Who was that? Who was she? Who was that? You in the car? All righty. See y'all later. All right. on y'all this is the head of the charge here oliver twix letting you know that my song hydraulics drops everywhere next week friday january the 19th scan the code to pre-save now come on y'all help me get this bitch on itunes <laughs> let's get it in ride come on come on come on hydraulics come on King K LLC lunch party. I'm lit. I'm looking good. <laughs> so I'm really excited. I look good. Out of respect for Derek, I definitely wanted to keep my outfit sexy but minimal. I'm excited and when I had a ski, I went outside, I hollered ski ye, and next thing I knew, all the girls was rolling in. So let's get it lit and let's get it go. <laughs> hey, come on now. Come on in. Yeah. 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 Y
Um, of course, me and my brother have talked. Me and my niece have not really had a conversation in depth detail. We really have not had a conversation about it. However, she's a Cancer, I'm a Leo. We really just be like, whatever, girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know y'all are wondering why I am sitting here being friendly with Miss Girl. Tonight, I didn't come for her, and I didn't come to address my issues with her. So, girl, either you keep it cute, or I'm not gonna keep it cute. That's, that's just what it is. I was mad. Now I'm over it, so, what up? Okay. Like, Tawana told me that you felt like, oh, okay, he said some things. You did. I did say some things, Kendra, but said a lot. I was just doing my job. I was reviewing oh, the show, boo. When it came to me, I just felt like, damn, he don't even know me. And I just felt like I wasn't treated fairly. Oh, you know, I was a star of Dallas. You think this way? <laughs> What? <laughs> so this was my very first time meeting Kendra. I did hear through the grapevines that, you know, she has some grievances against me and just some things I've said down to the King K Way TV. Overall, she's coming with great energy. You know, I think she's a cool girl and I was expecting something so other than what she gave, but that's the thing. We tend to judge people based on what we see without getting to know them as people. So, you know, it was definitely a vibe and, you know, I. I didn't know that she was coming, but I'm happy that she came. You need to give this one a hug. The only one that really gave me a chance to get to know the real Wayne is these two right here. When you said drop your location, I was really mad at you. I really just want to be loved. I don't have no issues with Drew. It's always a comment that Drew made. So I, I really want us to get over it because you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to respect these trans women. I'm trying to respect the LGBTQIA period. Everybody. Here's the thing. I never had anything against you. Listen to Kevin. Listen to him. Personally, as a person, I don't know Wayne. However, as a manager, I know that my sister is very, very talented. You don't, you shouldn't always want to be Diddy and Diddy bopping in the video. You have an artist that is fucking talented. You want to get to know me, then you take the necessary steps to get to know me. You wanted to come for my transition? No, I said, I, I said I wasn't going to respect your transition. You weren't going to respect it? Right. Okay, so that's but still the same. Kendra, but Kendra, but Kendra, right. It, but she shouldn't have had to tell, tell right. you to do that because I have never said anything to you, said anything about you, about your personality, about right. you. Can we hug it up? Because we can yeah, we can help yeah. it out. Yeah. And we can get to know each other. That man saying he wasn't gonna respect my transition, girl. I don't need you to respect shit. I appreciate motherfucking Martin Luther Kendra. What she gonna always do is she do this for every trans woman. And I appreciate her for fighting the motherfucking fight. I will always have the utmost respect for that woman, but that lady. Wayne and I, we just gotta see where we're gonna go. Just, you know, just know if you ever come from my brother, my sister, or my niece. Drop your location. <laughs> No stop, baby. No stop for me. Hey, thanks for the video. So I have arrived at the last to King Kane's party because I had to work earlier today, and I'm just excited to see what he has going on as it relates to everyone else there. To the people I get along with, it's so amazing to see you. To the people I don't, no words. Let's just get through the night. <laughs> What happened was I came into the house, I spoke to everybody. I said hi to everybody. I waved, I waved, I waved, I waved. Everyone looked at me and they said, hey Oliver, including Berlin. She attempts to give me a hug, which honestly startled me because I'm like, oh girl, you giving me a hug? And I'm not gonna lie, I ain't wanna say that, but her breath is thing. Before I get caught up in exchanging words with a trans woman, I'm a respect, and I'm just gonna go. Beyonce, 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 no. I was walking past, yeah. and I spoke to Oliver, and he shaded, he came. Oh. Oh. No, wait. Oh. Oliver, oh. one. Oh. No. This ain't even about Berlin. This is about me. That's how I took it. I saw red. Everybody go back inside. Everybody go back inside. We got all but already leaving. We just got here. I spoke to him and he just gave me Like he just shaded me purposely for no reason.
It's not I just like to her. No, I, I didn't say no, 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 This is her. I think it was like the slight like, no, no, no. I guess that's what it was. Go back in the house for the thousand fucking time. I literally just was at your house Monday. You told me you were coming. Like, let's have a good time. Like, don't let these girls get you out of your body, friend. We need to, I want you here. I, and not only that, I want you to shop. You don't want to go here back here, Lord. Me not hugging you made you go crazy. I knew they were fans of mine. I just wanted to admit it. I only go back inside of Dario because you asked me. My bosses asked me, Oliver, can you come in and finish the scene? Just give us a little bit more. And one thing, let me tell you something. One thing I appreciate about my other babies here, everybody else is not playing that shit. They said, Miss Mel, sit right here. We got, I said, baby, the children got into formation for Miss Oliver. I said, oh, bitch, this is a new dating dog, girl. I'm new to this. Everybody sit down. I really hope that you guys are enjoying yourselves, taking shots, having drinks. I know that there's a weird energy, not really sure why, but bring your energy back to me. J. Twan, Kendra, Cassidine, Tonga, J. Amora, Berlin, Wayne, Lux, and every mother Lux, and Plush. All right, so I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna let y'all know about the products that I have. So did everybody get a card? Drew, do you have a card? Willow, do you have a card? Troy, do you have a card? Okay, let me just read it out loud, okay? At I Am King K LLC, our unwavering commitment is to empower and inspire adults on their journey to discover and embrace their sensuality. I Am King K LLC is poised to become a beacon of empowerment and a catalyst for authentic connection in the realm of adult novelty toys and events, okay? I want to come to y'all events. Want me to come to y'all birthday parties. Want me to come to y'all, you know, engagements or like they're up. So what I'm going to do now, thank you, Troy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Come on now. Somebody else is playing. All right. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to talk about each toy. This is for my legendary lesbian women, okay? Let's let Kendra try. Come on, Kendra. You know now. You know it. Butt plugs, they come with a really cute little style at the back. This is a 10 inch Bible, okay? Bang, bang, motherfucking see. Oh, come here. Show that little You put some down inside of this, and it goes from point A to point B to point C to point D. This is my best friend, okay? This is called Bumping It Up, okay? Your penis will go through the top. Like Your balls will go through the second. And then the vibrating plug goes in the pussy. So I thank you all so much for coming. Let's continue to do it. Child, I ain't never seen a dickhead before, honey. I done met a few dickheads, but I ain't never seen a for real deal dickhead. My kids have got that dick across her chin, honey, across her head, everything. What the fuck she finna do with that? I'm a very sex positive person. I work within community health that's really surrounded about sexual health, so I'm enjoying it. Now this little face thing that Kendra got, I, I ain't never seen that. But $29.99 for some sex toys sound real introductory value to me, and that just don't even sound like they waterproof, they don't sound like they work. And I'm trying to figure out what is this Pinocchio toy he got over here that he don't even know how to strap on the right way. If this is what she was doing, Baby, this must be like your sex life. I feel sorry for time. Right. Calm down, I'm already calm. To me. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. A little irate. So Baby, y'all need uh, a fierce source. The irate, the hostile, the aggressive. Y'all need better synonyms. Y'all gotta do better. Yeah. I want to go to have a conversation with Jaswan because Oliver was sitting in front of me. I politely pushed Oliver behind me. Because I saw Jatwan taking off his shoes. Like, do we always have to end up in a brawl? This man trying to sell his sex toys. Like, girl, calm down. With peanut butter and stuff like that, it sounds very nice and nice. You should not have it's useless words. At this point, Berlin has gotten into it with Oliver. I've gotten into it with Seven. And I don't feel like the night is going to get any better. I just feel like 
a demons in this bitch and it's hopping from one bitch to the next. Get me the fuck up out of here because, um, jail is what I'm saying. Jail. We can ask her. Oh, when Oliver oh, stormed out, everything. everybody can, stormed out with them because they people don't I can't think for themselves. Come He's, on. This was about King Payne. This was about Yeah, and all you bitches what? made it about y'all. And y'all made it about him. Oh, that shit is weird. Y'all wanna kiss his ass because all y'all wanna be in the mix because none of y'all live for her like this. None of y'all. And you're coming for dildos and butt plugs. Not motherfucking Ayala fix my life stories every five minutes. Y'all motherfuckers, we got an argument every month. Everybody can't go just yet. There's still something that needs to be discussed amongst the group. So can y'all all put y'all little kids back in for five minutes and be fucking adults and shut the fuck up so somebody can just... No, because y'all acting bad. Just say go in and sit down. I, I can't tell you what you saying. Okay. But you know, people don't respond to that, and I ain't got time for Jesus Christ, where the fuck am I? When I was the queen of Dallas, at least we could get through a goddamn scene or an event without bitches popping off. I invited all of you pussy assholes to come and enjoy me. King K LLC. My soul right now is on fire because. Having one of y'all trying to do your own business, the person shit, I, I took this serious. Regardless if me and Kane is together or talking or whatever, I took everybody serious and what they do in the endeavor. And for us not to even sit down for 30 minutes just to give this man respect. I know this, he, he's, he's ignorant. He, that's, that's my man. That's yeah, y'all like really like. Hold on, Kane. Hold on, Kane. Cool. No, no, no. Wait, no. Wait, wait, no. Don't leave the house, bitch. Don't leave the house. Don't leave the house. I should have went with my first goddamn mind and took my ass home when everybody went out the first time because all of these, everybody can get slapped ass shit and all of these other type of y'all only here because y'all was made to be here. Like, I don't have time for that type of shit. I'm here because I wanted to be here. I'm here because I support every damn body and the things that they do or at least try to. So I don't want to hear no shit about I was made to whatever the case because to me that's a slap in the face. And saying some shit about some I'm gonna slap everybody, put a name on it and put a claim on it because I'm not one of them type of Bitches, they take strays. Listen, listen, goddamn We are all in this together. Whether we like each other or not, just because we come around each other and we around each other today, it does not mean that it's the day to throw shade and to be funny and to be fake and act like you don't give a fuck because it's the problem. We are all trying to be somebody, goddamn it. And that's the point right there. It's time to separate the goddamn differences. Cause we could've all been there by now if we would've stuck together, goddammit. Every motherfucking thing that we trying to do, everybody do something. Willa do the hair, all of us do the create, everybody do everything. The talent is right here. The problem is, we can't come together. So how the fuck can we show that to anybody else? Amen. Oh, I love Kendra. I wish you put that drink down because like sometimes the alcohol kind of take people away from the message. I didn't get it. I didn't have to come to this I just wanted to keep her. She couldn't even move a bitch ass thing in because I'm working and trying to be here. So I ain't with that. And then the motherfucker say a bitch can get touched. It is what it is. Touch me. Because I ain't disrespecting no shit. That's the rest of these folks. Every time I get loud or every time I try to voice my opinion, people feel like it's necessary for them to grab me and pull me. I feel like that makes the situation heightened. Like, oh, grab Willa, oh, grab Willa, oh, do this. I'm just talking. But then I get labeled aggressive and I get labeled all these things. Bag the fuck up off me. All Y'all want a show? Let's so give a show. I'm not giving no show. Rico, get talk out of there first. I feel like a lot of these girls are just bringing up their issues, bringing up their grievances. This is not the place. Shut the hell up because this is about me right now because what have you girls started and you're passionate about and you've invited everybody out for? I wait. <laughs> this is such a repetitive thing for everybody. And I've seen this show before. Clearly, this is where this group wants to be. 
I'm tired of sitting in front row to this fuck ass, dumb ass, lame ass movie. What the fuck is season right, six doing at this point? Yeah. It's just so much crap going on. I'm home tonight. I'm home tonight. I came home when it took me a look now for whatever. And you came here for me. Yes. And I'm sitting here cool. So when you turn around and be like everybody disrespecting your shit and people don't have to be calm. It is people that was here for you. It is people that was here that wanted to see what was going on. I didn't come just because the shit was mandatory. You a black business. I done tried to support everybody. Everybody done tried to support me. I can't take that. That's it. I don't have no thing with you at all. Just you, you know it was people that was there. Not no thing, thing. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not my this wasn't only mandatory, but I really, in my heart, wanted to invite everybody here. My, my, my star doesn't Jacob, Jacob, DM in, in Denver because there's other stars in the building. But we did it though, like on my mama. Dead ass, dead ass. That motherfucker silly. I don't give a damn what y'all say. That motherfucker is silly. I tried to be upset with him, or I kind of was upset with him, but I just can't be mad at him for long. Like, I can't be upset with him for long. And I feel like he heard me and I heard him, so. But that motherfucker silly. I'm sorry, that's a silly motherfucker. I just want to ask the question to you, Jacob. Are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you have brought me up like kind of like people don't check me or people don't say anything to me for the way that I act or whatever and it, that it offended you that I had said something about you being the principal but I didn't know that it had offended you. No, I didn't. It didn't offend me. I didn't say it offended me. And that's my, that's precisely my problem with the collective. They go back and tell people things, they add sugar and spice and everything nice and they don't put the context. What I said was when I come around the group, it, well let me, because I don't want you to feel like I'm yelling at you. What I said was when I come around the group, there's certain girls and I pointed to the, 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 the girls that I was speaking to and I said, I wish Willow was here because I want her to hear this and I don't want to misquote you. I said that verbatim and I said what she said was every time she's around me, people are getting checked like the principal. And then I said, Troy calls me aggressive and Jay has a miraculous problem with me for no reason. He just wakes up and have a problem That's with me and then I don't know what the frick's like fuck. Dominique was even talking about the whole freak frack and the, uh, the, uh, the freak frack. And I'm like, what? Whoa. No. I'm, I'm just. I'm nobody. I've been quiet. I'm no. not Let's not I'm, do that. She sat here and she was respectful and I'm being respectful. So what I'm saying is that. I'm being respectful too. What, what, I, what I was saying is. Because I don't disrespect nobody. I didn't disrespect you. It's the tone. That's one. We had no problem up until now. It's the tone. We don't have a problem now. But I'm just saying your tone is the issue. No, the tone is no. not a motherfucking Jake issue. Jake Jake one. Sit down. Baby. You know I'm that girl that's from Jake Jake one. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit what the fuck is wrong with you? Bitch, because I'm not talking to you. It's the freak fat fuck. It's the freak fat fuck. I don't know what the freak fat fuck he was talking about. Bitch, you know what the fuck is going on. Judge Juan, you bringing up the freak frack fuck. Girl, I'm going to tell you what the freak frack fuck it is. You can talk to a lot of people in this group like that, yelling, being aggressive, being abrasive. But when it comes to me, you're going to come with respect because that's all I pass out. What? What is what's happening? What do you want that? No, 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 no. I'm gonna be real. Freak frack fuck is funny to me. So I'm gonna keep saying it. Freak frack fuck. Freaking freaking frack fuck. Freaky frack fuck. Freaking freaking frack fuck. I ain't watching my mouth. Fuck her. Fuck them girls. Freak frack fuck. So while Jatuan and Will are having their situation, there's a whole another situation going on in the kitchen that no one knows about. And it's between King Kane and I. King Kane is touching me on my butt. He did it earlier when I came out of the bathroom and I asked him to not do that. We are now back in the kitchen. We are, his current partner is less than two feet away from me on the other side of the island and Kincaid is caressing my butt, saying, and I quote, I should have chose you. Me and Kincaid at this point have not been romantically involved with each other in over a year. I have set my boundaries with him from the other day he came to my house, very clear, you are with my friend. I can tell he's clearly drunk and I look him dead smack in his eyes and I said, Kincaid, I feel very uncomfortable that you're touching me. I don't want you to touch me. His response was, oh, you wanna you wanna flip out on me like that? You changing on me, you must be drunk. And I'm like, bitch, you know I haven't had a drink in months. I don't wanna be touched by you in that manner. And I was extremely clear about it. I tried to put a fire out with Seven. I tried to put a fire out with Willa. And now I'm here and Jay wants to talk. And I'm like, okay, just get to the bottom of it. I don't know why all these bitches mad at me. I don't know these bitches. I don't be around these bitches. If I invite people around, it's business stuff. So that's why I said I would like to get to know you. Okay, I've not actually have been acquainted with you since I want to say 2020. 
You are a designer. Really is a hairstylist. <laughs> Dominique also styles and does TikToks and things. You know what I'm saying? In my head, I want to make money with you. I do shows. I need a costume made, bitch. Who well, bitch, you could hit me up just like we like But I'm saying, why are you ice? If it, 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 it felt wasn't, like, it, it felt was like, isolation. It felt like, I, 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 like I, I, I understand. And I'm being so stupid. I understand why it feels that way. And I apologize. I you. need my wig split, Willa. Where's the love? There's love there. Now, the other thing that I do have a question about, because I don't know how it may have been misconstrued, and I don't want to just assume that you done started some shit. What did I start? I'm, I'm, I'm saying I don't want to assume. Like I said, I'm not assuming, so I would like to know. Um, I had a dinner with, well, drinks or whatever with Kane, and it was brought to me that you told him that Wayne said that I told him that he was problematic. Because I've never said that to... I've never said that to anybody. Because not trying to be funny, but... That's my, what was told to me. That was so, was when I, so I even pulled... Oh, here and here. I put Wayne. So I said, because I'm glad I would check myself quick. I said, did I ever say that? He said, no, you never said anything like that. Well, what so, because you definitely said that. I definitely did say that so, to Kane. But so, I said it because Wayne said it to me. You did call me. You called me about uh, maybe a week or two ago. Right. When, when sorry, the day after the horse back ride. No, I just called you out here for okay. the crime. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, when y'all bring shit to me, I'm bringing it up. I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling. Okay. What you said was that you talked to um Jay and Jay said that King Kane and I that you have to watch us because we can be problematic. Jay is one of the sweetest people. And I feel like y'all But I've been known him to be sweet. But, but honestly, y'all friendship shade, But but see one thing about yeah, you, we have a different one thing about you Jay though. No shade direct. Jay yes, is, I do. Jay, no, is <laughs> Jay is not that type to hold on to anything. Right. So you so, 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 guess so, what he said I got all I don't care. Oh, oh, hey, so we gotta get the fuck about here. I ain't paying for no extra hour. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. At this point, I'm over this damn boy. I'm ready to go. Tonka, you ready yet? I'm ready to go, girl. I'm running out of Cheetos. All right. I'm gonna be at the car. I'm okay, that one. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm not mad at you. Yeah. I'm not mad at you. Uh, Was it unexpected? Yes. Yeah. No shame. You speak very colorful. Uh, and you just, you've you just spoken very colorful a few times about me. But my point is, I don't have time for like the aggressiveness because where I come from at that point, I have been attacked. I'm the only person on this cast that has been attacked like numerous. Quick frack fuck, and then on top of that, when we was at Drew Drag Show, you actually got Darius. No, so earlier today you was on live, right? I'm gonna go. Oh! Uh -huh. You was asked about um, you was helping promote the other situation. Yeah. And you said that um, Darius is being fast. And uh -huh. he's in everybody's face. It's a production in 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 the it's work. A, so <laughs> I don't saying that what y'all got is more serious than what we got. Ooh. I don't got nothing with Darius. You sure? You sure? I promise uh -oh. you. You sure? What y'all got with my man? And it's like it's a lot of stuff that I just let slide. I'm gonna be honest with you, Jaquan. Because on that day, that very day, and it's actually recorded. You said, "Um, stop kissing them bitches," and the only bitch you kissed on camera was me. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm excited to see Oliver. Oliver spin off. I saw that trailer. And yes. Darius, don't be out here kissing these bitches. Darius, you was kissing them. Darius. Darius. Well, stop kissing them bitches. Like, stop kissing them bitches. Well, who's the bitch? Oh my God, like, you already know there's no smoke like that. No. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to be respectful. But people really testing my gangster. Like, I really don't like that. Like, I really hate that for people. Jay Jay I can be aggressive. Because I'm showing you the difference between aggression. You know what? What? Y'all can kiss my aggressive ass. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. No, see you later. Jay 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 stop. No. Jay stop. I'm not that girl. I'm, Jay I'm not that girl either. I'm not that motherfucking bitch. You're not going to tell my girl that you're not going to I'm speaking the fuck out of my face. I'm speaking out of my face. If me and Dominique have a problem, why is Seven and Troy here? Like, they're not needed for me and Dominique. Dominique doesn't need... Wait, is he getting walked like a dog? Are they walking him to... to Massa? Oh, okay, well, let's do this. Again, this bitch gets angry. Like, that's all 
she do is go from zero to ten. It's no talking to this bitch. What is going on? You not gonna beat nobody ass. You not gonna beat nobody ass, bitch. You wanna fight? Who wanna get caught? 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 Who wanna get Jump. Yeah, take your punk ass across the street, dumb yeah. ass bitch. Anybody want anything, take your own It is so funny to me how all of these people sit around and talk about this and talk about that. I ain't seen no bitch pop off yet. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that. I really probably shouldn't say that because I don't want it to be like I'm promoting violence. But I'm like, so many people sell all these whoop tickets like y'all can kick everybody's ass. And I'm seeing people standing face to face with their enemies. touch my ass and did it get the tussling. I'm just like, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, what have I got myself into? Oh, girl. She's a Florida girl. That's all I got to say, y'all. She's a Florida girl. I felt sorry for Kane, but damn, I felt even more sorry for the bush. You gonna have to pay for this, Kane. This look like good law care. Bitch. Oliver is from Broward County. Every bitch from Broward County is a hood bitch. I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but some shit happened before. Oliver reached the fuck back and knocked the shit out of King Kane. I was like, not the white woman. I need my fingernail, pal. Nope, no ma'am. You know me, Sam. Y'all my motherfucking dick, Danny. How dare you, Kane? Let me go. How dare you, Oliver? Please. Really? You me, you? me and you? You Me and you? Hey, hey. Nice. Hey. You got some fucked up here. Why these hoes been with me? Dominique has been here. You gonna come for me, bitch? You got me fed up. Hey, all right. You, bitch. I fed your motherfucking ugly black, big nose, big face, hey. bitch. He don't want to bleed. Where? Oh, Ooh, bitch, his mouth and his nose bleeding. Oh, wow. Bitch. You don't like no, he said that about Dolly, I'm hollering. Well, not I'm hollering, but damn, that's crazy. <laughs> It's so funny to me how I was all sorts of ghetto ass bitches last season, but now you the one in the fights and shit, and you the one getting the carry and all. Oh, okay. The same shit that you tried to play with me at that motherfucking speed dang was the same shit that ended you in the fucking bushes. Because the same way you tried to act like you was somebody had chose over me or whatever the case, that's why you was so salty at Kane because he announced that he wanted to fuck, that he was fucking with Tonka in front of everybody on this damn show, and he was still fucking on you and doing all the other shit that he was doing over there with you. You felt played. I've taken a lot of shit in this fucking group since day fucking one. People lying on me, people blatantly coming up with stories, people trying to fight me, attack me, throwing shit on me. And I hope I've let a whole lot of shit slide. But touching me in a sexual way after I told you to stop multiple times, I don't give a fuck if we fucked a hundred times in the past. Today, bitch, I said no. Listen, she's here and she's here for the right reasons because I don't give a fuck where I am. That's chasing Atlanta, Netflix, WeTV, the street, the grocery store, the church, any fucking where. If a man continues to put his hands on me in a sexual way and I say no, bitch, I'm finna fuck you up. What's going through my mind, I'm so angry. You, ain't, you never swing on Jay Twan when he was finna zap your ass in Miami. You never swing on Devon when Devon was pressing you. You, you. you didn't even swing on Miss Berlin. You know what I'm saying? You never wanna... The girls don't 
press people that they know will give them, you know, more of a run. Um, I will say that I do remember being inside my party and just, you know, telling Oliver that, you know, I am sorry. Maybe I did make a mistake with choosing Derek over you and not really giving us that opportunity. And I know that, I know Oliver is probably gonna try to downplay our relationship and the vibes and everything, how we were, but Oliver is one of my hoes, like period. Like, let's just keep it a bug. The fact that I'm with Derek, I feel like you feel a certain type of way and that's where the energy coming from. Cause what other reason would you have to fucking pop me in my motherfucking face? Like, I'm not a fucking creep. Like, I'm the coolest nigga you'll ever meet. Like, it's never my intention to make nobody feel uncomfortable or uh, warranty, you know what I'm saying? Like, so Monday I can squeeze on the ass when, when Dario and production leaves, you know what I'm saying? But Thursday, you know, you got beat. That's wild to me. Did you really think that was it? <laughs> Baby, get ready for yet another big night in web reality. Not only do we chase the beat, we set the tone, honey, for one more show-stopping night. Presented by me, Oliver Twix, the second installment of Chasing the Beat, a celebration of queer art and creativity is here. Join us as some of the stars from Chasing Atlanta take one final bow, plus, Special appearances from some of our faves from Dallas and even Los Angeles. Yeah. Be sure to watch it live on the Chasing Reality YouTube channel. Yeah. Coming soon. I get the bag, you get the bag, we get the bag. All my hitters in the club gon' get the bag. Run, get the bag, run, get the bag, hit it. Run, get the bag, run, get the bag, Yo. Hit it. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. If you are a performing artist and want the chance to join the lineup for this upcoming Chasing the Beat, to perform your music in front of our viewing audience, here's your shot. Email us now at oliver.twix at mychasingreality.com for more information. On the season finale of Chasing Atlanta. Like, this is King Kane we're talking about. I'm not a fucking creep. I do love you and you do have my heart and I do want to be with you. I feel like I get made fun a lot uh, for the type of drag that I like. Are you ready? for my honest opinion. We've been talking since the candle event. He been in my phone trying to get me to pull up to his apartment and... I just want my peace. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be bothered. Take me to where your experiences have been that kind of tie to how that situation has happened.